Seriously, there is yogurt on everything. This video is not sponsored. These are just the products I like to use to clean my kitchen. I'll start with this. <laughs> I use this. There it is. I use this on my appliances, uh, the dishwasher and the refrigerator and the stove all have stainless steel. This is leftover from my Pennsylvania days in our old house, what I used to clean our laundry washer and dryer and uh, it worked really really well so I'm just using it up until it's gone. Our fridge gets lots of little smudges at kid height and adult height. <laughs> you, can kind of, you can see here too. So that's what I use the wipes for. I don't think I introduced myself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erica Lucas and I share minimalist life here on YouTube and over at ericalucasloves.com. Actually, good bit of grease on here from dinner this week so I may have to go back over it again to make sure it's not streaky I need to use my fingernails on the sides and I go back over with a microfiber cloth that's dry and not used yet to just get out all the streaks that are left I know it's nothing new it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you done being used and they could be used again. I drape them over and I put a hair tie around it. So this is now the rag to use with this product until it's time to wash the rag. You know I'm here to stay every single day. I 
works the best to getting grease off. I just let it do its job for a minute. I just do the middles and then the edges first, and then I go around the burner part because by then it's soaked a little bit longer. The rag has product on it to help me get all these like little greasy spots to come up clean. And then when I do a weekly clean and really get in there, I take these off and I scrub these down in the sink, let them dry before I put them back on. But it's the middle of the week, well, it's Friday, and we do our weekly cleaning on the weekends. So a couple more meals, and then I'll scrub the tops of these things. Whatever was cooked on these two burners this week is what ended up on the backsplash of the stove because it's not coming up. Let's see, what do we make? A uh, kielbasa skillet that has bacon, so that probably got in places it shouldn't. And this is running down. So what I do is I buy the concentrate refiller and I put part water, part concentrate to refill this. And it lasts a very, very long time. I've only used this much so far. Um, and I've had it since we moved in here in July. Just fill it back up with cold water. And that gave this a lot of time to soak while I did that, so I'm gonna scrub that clean down. Uh, there we go. my personal quest to get it up. <laughs> Sometimes I break this out and use this. We keep all of our products at the top cabinet at the pantry where our kids cannot reach. And so I'll just grab another one. Well, that's going. I'm going to put some things away. I'm going to put the dishes away and put the crock pot away, put some stuff away so that I can clean the counters. Waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say that I feel That our love is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal shares space with our food storage containers, which I need to change because that's not really working for the kids or for me because there's actually not enough space for all the food storage in the cabinet I want to use, but that's a problem for a different day. They can get their own cups and bowls for snacks and drinks. And it's still wet. This, by the way, the solution to reheating my coffee every day. My husband bought me a Yeti travel mug and I can have two cups of coffee in here and it stays hot for hours. I don't have to reheat it anymore. Do it all again. Make our love a story that 
I'm gonna try and drink more water. I'm way behind today. Soaking for a good bit. Let's see if it worked. It's kind of coming up. I'm determined to get this up because it feels like a risk, like a grease hazard. Using my nails, I'm using elbow grease. It's kind of chipping away. What is this? I don't want to take a razor blade to it. It's sticky. I don't know what it was. It's kind of sort of coming up a little bit at a time. I'm just gonna pop more of this on and let it sit for a long time. bathrooms and in the kitchen and then I refill it I have these refillables and I just refill the ones in the bathroom and in the kitchen sink with the same stuff it's just easier if everything's the same and then I can save money by buying these refillable things I wish I could send these back and have them fill them back up and send it to me again and I didn't have to put it in the trash, but it says using this uses 87% less plastic than buying this new again each time. So that makes me feel better. And then for my dishwasher, I use drops. I got this container from Target and then I use drops in my laundry and drops for my dishwasher. They are zero waste pods. This plastic dissolves, this piece dissolves in the dishwasher. And um, I use the lemon lime soap, I think it is. And the dishes come out clean, no streaks, no spots. They smell great, uh, zero waste decision. And I adore the company drops. I'll leave a link below for you. Floors and sink. Let's do the sink next. So this is this is ready for laundry, and I'm just going to get the water hot, and I use soft scrub on the sink to clean the sink, and I just put a little bit on the rag. And rub it in and then just rinse it down with the hose. So it's a great job of cleaning the sink. I will rinse it out really good here in the sink before putting it in the laundry. Okay, I'm gonna use this to just shine the faucet up. I put this in the sink. I've done this for years because the kids throw their spoons and whatever in the sink and it goes into the garbage disposal by accident. So this prevents that from happening and it still allows my children to clear their plates to the sink. I wash all microfiber together. I don't wash it with anything else. And then I air dry it in the dryer because heat will activate the microfiber and grab all the lint. And I don't want it to do that. Now let's do the floors. I am going to sweep. 
I feel like doing the floors. I'm just gonna sweep. I'm not actually gonna mop. Mopping is for Saturdays. Today's Friday. This is what I use to clean the floors with the mop. Um, it's a method wood cleaner. I love the way it smells. It smells almondy. This is what I use to mop. I'm not mopping today, but I am gonna sweep. a section of the floor right in front of the stove when I was down there cleaning I noticed that it was really pretty gross so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean now stickiness all your life you've tried to be a good man inside did everything that you thought you should it seem to do you any Anytime I'm done cleaning the kitchen, I never want to use it. Like I don't want to cook meals for my family when it's clean. I just, I like, I want my husband to take us out to dinner so my kitchen stays clean for a couple extra hours. But it's lunchtime and uh, the kids will be rolling in here in a minute. They are upstairs, supposedly cleaning their rooms. We shall see. Here's another Clean With Me video as well as the latest. Thanks for watching. I would be honored if you subscribed to my channel and joined our community here on YouTube.